Yo, what up everybody? It's Ojama Garrett's here. I just wanted to do a quick little update video because um, I didn't really post anything of meaning um, that was too meaningful today. And essentially what happened is that yesterday, um, rubber met the road and I just left my job. Um, not too much to say about it. Uh, it was a long time coming. It was uh, oil and water. We didn't really mix. I tried to stick it out, but it probably wasn't the best idea. Um, I'm still deciding whether I'm going to make a video about it because there is a lot of content re regarding uh, my experience at AMPI. I feel like is very uh, positive and beneficial for society in general, and hopefully, um, in essence, too. I'm still debating whether or not I want to keep trying to make that company um, better. Uh, there's a lot of um, a lot of I got to think about before I really just chuck it up on the internet because once I say stuff on there, I don't I don't think I can take it back, and I want to handle the whole issue as carefully as I can while also not downplaying anything or misrepresenting anything. Um, uh, I guess I could hype it up a little bit by saying it, it is going to be spicy. Um, it's a, it's a pretty, there's a lot, there's a lot to unpack at that, uh, company. Um, I plan on being professional as I can be about it. Uh, I'm not looking to really trash anybody. I'm not looking to whatever, but there's a lot of things that are, I feel need to be worked on. And uh, I feel like unless I talk about it on a platform like YouTube, that I really have no chance to make a positive impact or correct any changes. I feel that the company needs to address or that the culture there needs to address or anything like that. And it's just free content for me to farm. Honestly, like I don't, I don't really care about um, keeping things private because I feel I hold myself to a very high level of accountability that I feel like a lot of, um, and I feel this, this is where I'm saying, like, I need to really think about this. I feel like a lot of companies in America don't hold themselves to a high level of accountability, but that's just my feeling. Uh, and it's based on experiences. Pretty much every company I've ever worked for seems to have not held themselves to a high accountability. They have to be like, Kept in check, more or less. Uh, so that's why I didn't really do anything this weekend. Um, I know I, I, I did. There not a lot of people pay attention to this, so I'm kind of only talking to myself, but to the like maybe one to five people that see this. I probably will create content around it. It's just, um, yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go into. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a crack at YouTube just for a little bit because I have some money saved up, so I could really uh, spend extra amount of time into creating content on YouTube and see if I can see the future with this. If this is something I pursue long term, or if it's something I just uh, do as a hobby or whatever. Uh, I I think I think right now is um, my fork in the road type events that is going to really decide whether I do something entrepreneurial in regards to YouTube or a business or grind out nine to fives until retirement. Uh, I'm not really sure, but that's just kind of where I'm at. That's the update. Uh, potential drama coming down the pipeline for you, for you drama, drama fiends. If I look at my uh, analytics, people seem to really be sucked up into the drama. Um, the drama type posts. So, I mean, as much as I've been trying to avoid becoming a drama channel, I, I feel like uh, trouble follows me. <laughs> uh, attention follows me just based on my character. So I might not be able to run away from it. I might as well maybe start embracing it. But uh, yeah, look forward to that. Thanks. Um, appreciate everybody who's been watching. And I hope that uh, I can provide some sort of entertainment slash value to the viewer in a, a larger scope uh, with more hours. Hopefully I can just, you know, really up my game so uh peace out let's uh let's rock